I was right, quite keen that at least be successful so that other, many other talented women can be way more successful than me. You're celebrated um, largely as a woman leader. and the first woman uh, to be leading a conglomerate in Sri Lanka in this position let's also talk about the unheard side of the story while i was focusing internal and uh, getting ready to take over the role and this announcement came i think it came somewhere in may or june i realized in fact it had outside right the biggest bucket was the younger generation who were like my cheer leaders saying thanks to you we have hope and that really kind of opened my eyes thinking look the younger generation is looking at me as hope and and they aspire to now they it's kind of a path open for them but this part i had to succeed to make sure that 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 path is not a legacy of uh, failure so i had to eliminate all the noise of the people around and and just focus on work and uh, it was unbelievable the pressure it had on me imagine imagine the narrative if uh, him as had the growth because i took it over imagine the narrative on that imagine the impact on the younger generation so it was that was my whole obligation i need to make sure that a woman could because i didn't realize the impact it had outside right so i was not prepared for that when i realized that it impacted them so much i was like quite keen that uh, i i just have to leave it so that the at least be successful so that other, many other talented women can be way more successful